We have very exciting news. Do you want to tell them? Or me? You can tell them. We're going to Iceland! So it's been quite difficult to get here with all the COVID restrictions. It took negative tests, vaccination records, lots of planning, but we finally made it. We're here. We're set to go today. I think we're both very excited. It's our first time together out of the country as a couple. How do you think it'll go? It'll go awesome. Let's go. You heard the man. Let's go. <laughs> We're on the plane now. <laughs> Next time you see us, we'll be in. Hi. Here's our ride for the trip. Hopefully she does us well. Matt, what are we naming her? Freya. Solid name for a solid car. We are finally unmasked. We're on our way. First time driving in a foreign country. Turn left to stay on Val Hallerbro. You heard her. So the audio probably won't be very good once we get there, but um, we're heading to the active volcano that's happening right now in Iceland, and Turn I do not know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try, but I will put the name of it on the video, and we're hoping to see some action there. Down to an hour and a half. Alright, we'll see you at the top of the volcano. Okay, we made it to the first part where we can actually see some lava. We're getting closer. Now we have to go all the way up to the top. Crazy.
light is just spewing like crazy everywhere. We're gonna try to hike over here where there's a big eruption. They exceeded our expectations. We're here where the main eruption site is and you can just see the lava spewing out. It's pretty crazy and incredible and it smells like burnt rubber and it's keeping us warm which I really appreciate. And you know we don't get to see a volcano too many times in life like this and up close like this so this is pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear us but we made it back here and Words can't describe how crazy this site is. It probably doesn't show up in camera as well as it feels in person, but it feels like you're on a different planet. It's just pretty crazy. See, this is the face of someone who's battered and torn, and it was just much. It was a, so worth it to go and see it, but it was much more than we were expecting. We were expecting maybe three mile hike at the max, and it was probably six miles round trip, and it got there was probably a mile of just rocks. You had to watch your step every move, or you else would be tripping. And when we were coming back, it was so windy, and. It was a struggle. <laughs> yeah, we did it though. Did you, you have any other <laughs> critiques about the trail? Uh, not really. It's just that definitely the, the main trail has been changed. Instead of being two or three miles round trip, it's probably like four miles one way. So it's probably like, I think it's like eight miles round trip. It's a it high. took a long time. And it's very treacherous over a lot of boulders. There's a boulder field that's probably like, 300 yards long 400 yards long but it's worth it we got lucky it didn't really rain it was just windy but we got to see a lot of lava which you guys probably saw footage of i mean it's good we didn't know it was that long because if we did know it was gonna be like a six mile plus hike and that kind of terrain we probably wouldn't have done it 
but since we were already up there, we had no choice but to continue on, so it was worth it, but oh my gosh. <laughs> we, we had something else planned for today to go and hike. It would be a small hike, but I think we're going to have to save that for tomorrow just because we're out of it. Our bodies are sore and we're running on. We haven't slept in 24 hours over 24 hours because we had an overnight flight so I think we're just going to take it easy the rest of the day. Well we're going to go see an <clears throat> Icelandic grocery store. Yeah we're going to go grocery shopping because we need to eat. So you'll probably see some footage some of goodies coming up right now. I don't know about you, but I love food hauls, especially international ones. So I figured we'd do a little food haul of ours of what groceries we bought here in Iceland. We're trying to not eat out much and keeping it as low cost as possible. So we got these groceries for probably around 45 bucks. And what we're going to try to live off of is peanut butter and jelly, the essentials. We got two loaves of bread. We got some cup of noodles if things get really dire. Just a few snacky things, potato chips, cookies. And we got these, which I'm very excited to try because you see them advertised everywhere. They're the Skier yogurts. And we got creme brulee and blueberry flavor. Very excited to break into those. And we also got these kefir drinks. And they're so much better than anything I've ever had in the United States and we got a coffee and um, some type of berry flavor and both of them were very good we already drank two of them and because we couldn't make up our minds and we wanted to see what else was out there we went to Cronin this was from bonus and we got just some hummus and pita Nothing that special, and just a little like TV dinner meal. It's like similar to what you find at IKEA, and got on a drink. So nothing that exciting, but you know, it's what we're gonna live off of, other than some gas station food here and there. So yeah, looking forward to trying some of this stuff, and hopefully trying more. So here's our first Airbnb. We have a cute. Elf greeting us on the way in. and the bedroom, which is kind of nice because if you're traveling with a family, they have two bunk beds here, but plenty of room to sleep. A nice group of people. What's awesome about this Airbnb is it's on a farm, a family farm. So they have lots of Icelandic horses, which I've been dying to see, and some sheep. And it's really cute out here. We forgot to film an outro for this video because we got to our Airbnb and pretty much fell asleep. So that's all we have for this video, but check back on next one because we're going to be driving the Golden Circle. Stay tuned. <laughs>